We work to cases that S.H.I.E.L.D. hasn't classified. The strange. The unknown. It's not just spy versus spy anymore. The whole world's in on the action. Don't touch Lola. Marvelous Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Hey everyone, I hope you had a fantastic weekend. I know I did. Well, it was okay. Anyway, I managed to catch Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. yesterday. Uh, it aired a few days ago, but I only caught it yesterday, and uh, it, it was decent. Uh, so yeah, let's talk about that. Um, in this video, I'll be reviewing the episode. I'm not going to give it a rating. Okay, what I'm going to do with this, uh, I was going to review each episode separately, but I think the pilot was just so good, so I'm going to go for the pilot now, and uh, the rest of the episodes, I don't know how long the series is, I'm not sure how many episodes are in the series, but as the series progresses, I'll, you know, think about what so, what I liked about the series, and uh, about each episode specifically, I'll think about what I liked, and uh, when the series is over and done with and completely finished, I will review the whole series, you know, as a whole, and I'll give it a rating. I'm not sure what the rating system would be for that because I've never reviewed a TV series. Maybe because I just finished watching um, the TV series Chickens. That just finished. I'm not sure if you've heard of that. The series one just finished. So maybe I'll review the first series of that. Uh, maybe tomorrow. Uh, maybe I'll do that so that I can get used to the rating system for a TV series and I can think that over. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if you've heard of Chickens, but it's not bad. It's got um, Simon Bird from The Inbetweeners and uh, Joe Thomas from The Inbetweeners, who played Will and Simon. But anyway, this is Agents of Shield, uh, the pilot episode. So I thought, you know, it would sort of, it would deal with unanswered questions from the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And uh, you know, when I saw the trailer, the first big thing that I spotted, and I think everyone else will agree with me, is that Agent Coulson's like is in the series and at first when I first saw the very first promo I was like this must be set before the events of the Avengers because he's dead. Turns out Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is actually the sequel to the Avengers. It all happened after the Avengers but I'm pretty sure it's before the events of Iron Man 3. Uh, I'll talk about that as I go on because it does reference Iron Man 3 in a pretty big way. But uh, Coulson is, uh, I'll, I'll talk about you know I'll, this will contain spoilers, by the way. I should have said that at the beginning of the video. But I'll talk about, uh, you know, about Coulson being in it and the other agents that are introduced. So uh, the first scene we see um, a child and this uh, this guy who uh, they're looking at uh, the Avengers action figures, you know, because it's after the events of the Avengers and the Avengers save New York and everything. And then there's this burning building, and then there's a woman inside the building. And um, the guy that's with the kid, he runs into the building and saves her. And it turns out he's a real superhero. But, like because superheroes have been exposed because of you know the whole showdown in the Avengers with Thor, Captain America, Iron Man, Hulk, all those guys. They know that superheroes now exist. And uh, it turns out that um, this guy and uh, this woman who is in the Shield Agency are part, are part of a group called the Rising Tide. And there's another agent. Who um, I'm not really sure of his name, but he wasn't in the cinematic universe. But he's uh, talking to Maria Hill, and he he says, you know, he knows that Coulson was killed in action in this thing. And then Coulson like walks out of the shadows, which is really awesome. And then he's like, yeah, it was a dark corner, so you know, I, th I thought it'd be cool to walk out. You know, it's just in proper Coulson style. And it's, it's uh, the thing with Coulson surviving, it it. It's cool because I really like Coulson and he's a really good character. But I just think, you know, why is he like? Why have they put him, you know, with, with such a little story? I mean, I don't know if the story will progress as the series goes on, but it's only uh, it's only explained about. And this is what the problem I have. It's explained. You know, he was like stabbed by Loki, and everyone thinks he's dead. And then the Avengers like fight back against Loki and these like aliens, and they save New York. Yeah, that that's that's the whole setup for the Avengers, like the ending battle. Um, it turns out that Nick Fury knew that Loki was going to stab Coulson and that Coulson, Coulson would fake his death to sort of, you know, help out the Avengers or whatever to get back at Loki. Which, uh, he seems like a pretty big douchebag for doing that. I mean, I don't think he's dead. They all had like a funeral for him and he's not dead. I don't know. It, it just, just makes him seem like a douchebag. But anyway, another flaw with that. Is that uh, how did Nick Fury know that Coulson would survive that? You know, stab him. Where was like Nick Fury to sort of 
if he knew that Loki was going to stab him, why would Nick Fury just stop him from taking over everything? You know, if Nick Fury knew he'd be there at that specific time, why did he take over New York? That is what I sort of I don't get. So you know, that could have been explained a bit more. Maybe it'll be explained as the series progresses. And I'm hoping to see a cameo from Nick Fury in probably the finale, talking about you know Coulson surviving with Coulson, and we all get to know how that happened. Anyway, I'm not sure if that will happen, but that would be really cool. Anyway, uh, I thought Maria Hill would be one of the main characters, like Coulson. I thought they'd be like the two mains, but she was like only a special guest in this episode. I'm not sure if she'll be in other episodes, but she was in it like a very little amount, which I, I don't know. I was hoping she'd be in it like the whole episode because she's very hot and she's a good character. Anyway. Uh, the rest of the episode focuses on. Hold on. Sorry. <laughs> the rest of the ep episode focuses on uh, this rising tide group, and um, Coulson and the rest of the shield agents are investigating on what they are. And it turns out that this guy from the beginning of the episode, who's a superhero, is actually um, part of this rising tide group. And the link to Iron Man Three, which I mentioned earlier, is really cool. Some people might think it's a bit shoehorned in, but you know, I, I like it. Uh, it turns out that this guy and uh, other members of the Rising Tide are uh, infected by um, Extremis, which we all know that was a major plot point in Iron Man 3. Um, Aldrich Killian like, had Extremis in him, and then it turns out that Pepper gets the Extremis in her, yeah. But uh, I think this was set before Iron Man 3, even though the Extremis reference, because you know, it's explicitly like, directly after the Avengers. And Iron Man 3 does as well, so maybe, I don't know, I think maybe this could have took place at the same time as Iron Man 3. I don't know, as the series progresses on, maybe we'll get more references to Iron Man to see when this actually took place, like, in full. But I really like the references to other Marvel movies, like The Avengers and Iron Man 3, I really like that. And, uh, has anyone seen the trailer for Thor The Dark World? Most of you probably have. Uh, there's a black guy in the beginning who's, like, revolving around a bus. And uh, yeah, I think he he was in Agents of Shield. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I thought that was the same sort of guy. Uh, I don't know. Maybe when Thor: That World comes out, we'll know for sure. But uh, that's just what I thought, anyway. So who saw Agents of Shield and who liked Agents of Shield? Who thought that uh, maybe Coulson shouldn't have come back? And who thinks you know Coulson's story should be a bit more developed? And uh, who'd like to see Maria Hill as a recurring character? Because I know I would. Uh, yeah. I think Coulson will be back in the Avengers 2, which will be awesome. So yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing the rest of the series. And as I said, I'll make a full series review when that will be done with, with the pilot was just too awesome. So, yeah. so uh, yeah, who saw it, who enjoyed it, let me know what you think, um, comment below. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching as always. Uh, like some Facebook links on my channel. Uh, thank you for watching and goodbye.